Hello everyone, my name is Kobe, and today we'll be doing something a little bit different than usual. Today we'll be taking a look at three different types of goalkeepers that you can find in the wild. And by the wild I actually just mean the drop in games, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> so sit back, relax and enjoy the video. So first we'll be taking a look at the skiller. These players are to say average rated goalkeepers. When tested they'll have their good and their bad moments, just as any other player. But their goalkeeping abilities is not what defines them. These players, as their name would suggest, always have 5 star skill moves on, no matter what position they're playing. You'll always see these players at the top of their box waiting to get a pass from their teammates to just perform some useless skills. They just can't go even one game without trying these ridiculous things. Also, the moment they get to hold the ball in their hands, you best know they're going on a little skill run. This is also the reason why these players hit it when they can only parry a shot or when they get a punching animation. But this player also has something very special to him, as when he decides to take a run outfield, he simply can't be stopped. A very frustrating moment for the opposition team, as the only way to stop him is to just take him down. These players are so experienced with using skills and have so much confidence that you just know they're never going to fail it. You know what, never mind. The second type of player we'll be looking at is the so-called small wall. And yes, I did choose the names myself. <laughs> You'll quickly recognize these players by their short build and their crazy looks. Are they just trolling or did they simply select the wrong player style? Nobody knows, because these, in contrary to the skillers, do stay in that, as they do take their positioning seriously. Now you would think that as these players can't even reach the crossbar, they'll concede 10 or more goals a game. But you'd be wrong. Somehow, from the moment you come across these goalkeepers, all long shots will just be nerfed. Crossbar, post, an unbelievable save or just a blatant miss is what will be the outcome of 95% of all the long shots, without any explanation. And then there is the fact that these goalkeepers are fast as f It looks like they're just everywhere. It's uncertain if it's because attackers underestimate these goalkeepers, or if it's just bad luck, but it's certain that these goalkeepers are not that easy to beat. So I'd suggest, don't judge a book by its cover. The last type we'll be covering are the manual noyers. See what I did there? Nobody cares! These players watched all YouTube tutorials there are to find and they are dedicated to their 6 feet 7 build and to always using the manual save assistance. Because this is a setting all pro players use, right? No! Furthermore, these players will only use their left stake for movement and they will consistently be running from left to right inside of their box, even if their own team are on the attack. Now even with all this bad positioning and bad animations in their gameplay, they'll never change their mind on what is the best way to play, even if they lose 15 games in a row. But the moment they get that important lucky save, they'll be sure, oh they'll be sure to let you know that they were right all along. And that's why everybody hates these f <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, I know it was a bit different than you're used to on my channel, but I thought I'd switch it up for once. Just as a clarification, this video is meant as a joke and should not be taken seriously in any way. If there are goalkeeping stereotypes that I have missed, be sure to let me know in the comments. Also, if you like this video, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I'll be back with more tutorials in the next video, but until then, see you next time! Stay safe!